Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Skyrim Game of Thrones. Something has shifted in the moons, brother. Thank you, Ayla. So if you remember, um Well, let's start by saying it's been a while since we've played. Many things have happened Something for has shifted in the moon. Thank you, Ayla. Many many things have happened. I'm just gonna walk away from her. Um and essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to finish this main quest as Loras of Bravos, and that's going to be the end of the Loras of Bravos storyline. Um, if you missed the update video I did, I explain it in a bit more depth, but essentially um, I want to like finish this storyline quite quickly because Loras of Bravos has been... he's had a long run, it's been a good run, but it's been long. Um, and then start another series with another character doing another storyline essentially and I think that's how we're gonna play it for a little bit so we have to now recover the Elder Scroll to get the thing the Shout Dragonrend uh, let's 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 go about doing that then it's been a while since I've played this game so apologies if I'm a bit shit right I'm sure the quest marker was down here somewhere where is this quest? Recover the Elder Scroll. Oh, it's here. It's in this house. Cool, so let's let's travel to Sarthal and ride over. I don't really remember what happened previously. Um, because I, I I don't know about you, but I don't have time to watch 123 20 minute videos like on a weekend. So we're kinda going kinda just like freestyling this, but that's fine as well. We do have a horse, which is good. I don't remember... I, I know he's called Alfred, I don't remember which number he was. I remember we got through a lot. Maybe if, if someone's uh, watched this series recently, they can tell me which Alfred we are on. I would, I would much appreciate it. Right. So yeah. Um, talking about the new series that we're gonna do... Woo! It, I essentially wanted to do stuff like roleplay different characters. So we have right now the Loras of Bravos character. Uh, I can't remember which one of these swords is bad. Let's just go with this one. That's a cool stuff I have. Yeah. So we have Loras of Bravos who plays as a sort of warrior, um, basically a heavy warrior character. That's not very bravosi, but you know, <laughs> we kind of just yoloed off after that point a while back. I think mostly because um, of the fact that most of the armor in the game, most of the Game of Thrones armor, was oh fuck me, <laughs> how do I get up there? Maybe through this door. Yeah, it was heavy armor. I'm trying to do two trains of thoughts here, people. It's quite hard. Um, yeah, so we so that would be our heavy warrior done. <laughs> Next, I was thinking of doing a mage class, so role players like a, a red priest of Ashai, kind of thing. Install some cool. Oh, where's my shield? Okay. I still remember the hotkeys. Yeah, it's install some cool um, mods for spells because there's all sorts out there, and we might as well really stuff like that. Do a lot of visual things as well, hopefully, um, which I haven't done so far because I don't want to fuck with this save file. But after we finish Lords of Bravos, I'm gonna do something of an overhaul with the mods. Um, basically, just see what's out, see what's changed since the last time we really played this game. Oh, dear! I'm just waiting for it to stop by itself. Okay, it's not gonna. It doesn't look like it's gonna do that. But luckily, I remember we have Wilwood Sprint. Oops, press the wrong button. Uh, how do I activate this? I don't remember. <laughs> that works too. I'm a little bit on fire. I do want to have a quick look at our weapons, though. Thirty-five points of extra damage to dragons. We got a sick. Um sword here. Then we have a couple of staffs. That's cool. 
We have our crossbow, which is called Get Burned Fool. Uh, and also an ebony bow. That's very nice. We have very nice things. And what level are we? I have interest. How do I check that? Uh, skills? 41, okay. So for other characters, I'll also um, up this level. Essentially so that we can go down these trees, especially with the mage a bit more. Um, just have it be a bit more like powerful off the bat, instead of grinding all the way up from the beginning again. But yeah, I think that fucked my FOV. Yep, there we go. Oh dear! So I say, I say I haven't played this game in a while, it's, it's fairly simple. Um, I'm not really struggling getting back into this. Because it's basically just click, click, click. Was there a guy around here, or did I just imagine something? I'm going to have to watch that back. <laughs> and see if there was actually a guy there. Oh, they're like traps. Speaking of traps, what happened to my companion? She completely fucked off. Let's wait for an hour. No, it's 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 Fredis the thirteenth, everyone. This is this is not a very lucky day. Ah, and the old lock picking. Is actually easier than I remembered. I'll take the other one too. Right, my sword starting to feel a little bit OP. I'm not going to lie. Or maybe these are weak enemies. I'm not really sure. Also, on the new build, I might do something about carrying capacity, because uh, it's kind of bullshit having to run back somewhere and like, throw everything down. Considering we're not really going for realism here, particularly. Where the fuck am I? Let's quit. Let's quit save. He wants me to go back in there. Why though? Wasn't I supposed to end up like over here or something? Um, let's toggle that quest and see if see if that changes anything. No, it still wants me to go in there. What the fuck did I miss? Did I, like, take the wrong turn or something? Or if I go in there, is it just going to make me go all the way down to the floor? Right, I'm going to try and get round to up there. Uh, let's see if this works. So... So maybe if I climb up this way, I could drop down. Ooh, spooky music. Um, hello? Oh no, someone got burned and then snowed on. What a terrible combination. It's almost like the song of ice and also fire. By George R. 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 Martin. Oh, this is nice loot. Let's take a little bit. Okay, now that we've looted this place, the question is where do we go? Do we go in there? That kind of looks like a exit. Methinks we follow this down. And this will lead us somewhere. <laughs> With a little bit of parkour thrown in. Also, I look I look pretty cool, just gonna say. I don't know what happened to me since I last remembered playing this game, but apparently I decided to put on some fucking cool armor. And I have a sick shield. I 
Let's start by going stealthy stealth. He says for five seconds before deciding that's too slow. What was that noise? That did sound like a spoopy spoopy noise. God, there's blood on the floor. That's not good. What is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Chisa. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, Wait, where the fuck was he? Where was that sound coming from? It sounded like he was coming... through here, so I guess I'm going round. But now we know that there's a cat in here. And that's, that's just bad news. There's no way that having a fur devil in an underground cave stuck with you is a good, good idea. We'll have to be on our guard. Ooh, a book. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was a quill. What does the book say? Um, if only Umani would have left one of these dwarven machine creatures for me to study. Uh, he, they almost killed m those Khajiit brothers. Doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. Uh, this guy thinks they're really cool. And he, he has very astutely pointed out that they look like spiders. I thought I saw something moving beyond the barred door. It looks vaguely humanoid. I wonder if that could be an undiscovered automaton. I'm going to move my bed roll down here to see if I can see another glimpse of it. So that basically means we want to go that way. Right. Um, I think that book's going to be pretty irrelevant. And it also means that there's someone else down here with us. Spoopy. Just checking we can't go straight through this. No. In my head, I, I didn't even think it was worth trying, but... Wow. OP sword is OP! Now, where's that cat that was talking? Can you not? I mean, at this point, it it's really like, why wouldn't I just use my sword, but, you know. Let's, let's just do that, then. It is literally glowing with amazing lightning energies, so... Ooh, a chest! And despite the fact I nearly picked up a grand's worth of things, we are also going to loot this other shit. Haha. -ha. I don't even sweat anymore with these guys. Who is this brother? Hello. Another of the smooth skins looking for food. That's racist. Never should have come here. No, I want to be friends. Oh, what fur devil? Classic fur devil behavior. Night, night, Cade. Right. So what was his deal? And why did he attack me on sight? Why did he attack a guy who looks like this on sight? That's a good question. Ah, a journal. Uh, this one's at its wit's end. I signed Jadar myself up for this expedition to get him clean of skooma. Drugs, kids. Um, Storm has us trapped for weeks. 
I've run out of the skooma I brought, oh no! And Jadar's getting into withdrawal syndromes. He's hallucinating that creatures are coming out of the ice and the ruins, and others are starting to think he may be behind Feliz's disappearance. But I know he would never do something like that. Which means he definitely did do something like that. That is a nice potion. Look at all the empty skooma bottles, guys. Drugs. Don't do them. This sounds quite ominous. What is this noise? Alright, these guys are big enough. I wonder if my electricity is actually like um, super powerful against them as well. Because that kind of makes sense. In my brain at least. Electricity is good against electric things. Maybe? Uh, so these are what were making the noise. Do I stand on them? Does this help? I mean, these three kind of look like a curl. Let's give that a go. Oh, I missed that. Shit. Not that I've ever seen Skyrim requiring you to actually parkour things. But you know, I want to see what's up there. Oh, there was things! Not that I can see them. Can I please have torch? <laughs> or a torch bug thorax. <laughs> I did a smart, that actually worked. Oh my god, there's all sorts of good shit in here. I am I'm I'm just as surprised as you are viewers that my hunch was right. Ooh. Can't afford to carry that. Nearly full again. But that's cool. Let's save. So we don't have to do that again. Fuck. That's not fun. Was that because I was holding the torch and there was like some explosive stuff in the air? Maybe. Oh, forge. Ah, shit. Let's have charge. Okay, let's charge this back up. Um, what do we have? Let's use all the tiny, teeny ones. There we go. Did some leveling too. Someone has spilled a lot of oil on the floor. Someone should really clear, clean that up. And by someone, I mean not me. But actually. I don't know, where is it? Um, I've forgotten all the buttons again. This let me select. Oh, dear. Ah! I cleaned up. I'm such a nice fellow. <laughs> let's get let's get our torch back. Oh my God! There's so many chests in here. Ooh! Oh, that's a nice helmet. Glass Sword of Dread, whoa. We're getting all the good loot. But again, I can't actually carry that. I'm gonna leave the helmet as well. 
I'm doing really well with the chest today. I'm not going to complain. It's just an observation. 